everyone, Young Seo, PMS Black Queen here with a K movie review. That's right, I have a Korean movie review for you. And today's movie is called Iris the Movie, all right? Now, the only place that you can view this film on, unfortunately, is Netflix. So if you are a Netflix subscriber, you can watch this film, all right? Sorry, Drama Fever. Mm, and I'm so sorry, Vicky Watchers. Mm, sorry, Hulu Plus as well. Mm. All right, so this is Iris the movie. Not to be confused with Iris the Korean drama. I believe that this movie was made um, from the Korean drama because I believe it was a drama first, and then from that they made the movie. I have not seen the drama, okay? The drama, I know you can view the drama on Vicky and on Drama Fever, but I have not viewed this, all right? But I do want to see it after watching this film. All right, so let's get started. The film starts off, you have our main character in this film. And he gets the mission. His mission is to shoot and kill and assassinate this high-profile person in South Korea named President Yoon, I believe is his name. So he does, he gets the mission from his boss. He does the mission, completes it, makes that phone call and says mission complete. And while he's on, and while he shoots him or after he gets done assassinating him, he gets shot because people are after him immediately because he gets spotted uh, committing the crime. He gets shot in his side. He starts running and he kind of gets caught between two groups of uh, agents and then he kind of rappels down um, the side of the building and he makes his getaway. And he goes into hiding for a little bit uh, in an apartment building. And again, agents are after him because the president is now dead. And he gets this knock on the door. And he slowly opens up the door. And he's got his gun drawn. And who comes in the door is a familiar face. It's a guy that he's worked with. It's like one of his good friends. So... It, he was kind of relieved, so he drops his, you know, he lowers a weapon, he puts on his jacket and says, all right, come on, let's go. And as soon as he turns back around, the best friend that walked in the door has a gun pointed to his head. And he's like, what? what, what why are you doing this? And the best friend goes, it's an order. And as soon as he said the word order, that's when some other agents bust through the room. They've got red dot sights on their guns and they're shooting it. And there's like this really big shootout that happens in the apartment building. So, of course, uh, the main character makes a getaway again. He goes and he finds his wife. He tells his wife, you know, I'm the one that shot the president. Because by now it's all over the news that the president's dead. So... The main character, I'm not sure what his name is, guys, but he goes, he tells his wife, I'm the one who shot him. It's not safe to be with me. We have to get away. You know, I have to get out of here. You can't be with me. But she said, I'm not going to leave your side and whatnot. So they end up leaving. They go to the train station. He buys tickets. As he's buying tickets for the train, he spots these same agents that were at, that was after him when he killed the president. And they see each other. He makes a run for it out the door. When he runs out the door, there's even more agents that are coming at, at him. He goes to his car. Mind you, his wife is sitting in his car waiting on him. As he goes to the car, he's about to go there. And guess what happens? Ugh, the car blows up. Yes, the car blows up with his wife in there. So now, guys, this is when the movie really starts to happen because now you've got this man that has been betrayed by his best friend, first of all, because his best friend was not on the side because his best friend tried to kill him. He was betrayed by his boss. His boss ordered him to kill the president, but we find out, you know, that right there was a betrayal as well. So he's got betrayed by two people. Wifey is now dead. You've killed the love of his life. Now he's on the run for real. He gets shot too, by the way, in the arm. So now this man has a shot. He's shot in his side. He's shot in his arm. He's mad as I don't know what. So he hijacks a car. And this, there's a really, really cool car chasing scene that happens right after he gets shot in the arm and he hijacks the car and he runs out. So after he uh, 
hijacks the car, that cool car chasing scene happens, and then he goes to the airplane, the airport, like an airplane hangar, and he hijacks a helicopter. And while he's on the run by car, his best friend that tried to kill him in the apartment's on his tail. So he hijacks the airplane, and as he's high, as he gets behind the uh, controls of the aircraft, he starts to fly it up, but he doesn't get up off the ground all the way. So the best friend shoots the plane. So he kind of shoots like the wing of the plane. So then the plane is doing like this. It's kind of swerving like this. And there's smoke coming out of it. And then it kind of nosedives down um, over in the clearing um, into the lake. So the best friend drives over to the clearing. And he sees that the plane is down in the clearing and in the lake. And there's smoke coming from it. So he's assured that now he is dead. And I think the reason why, there's like some jealousy going on there too, because they flash back a little bit at their relationship. The best friend introduced the wife and the main character. He kind of introduced them together, but you kind of see him lurking in the side a little bit. I think he's kind of jealous because he kind of wanted that girl, I think. Um, you kind of sense that. He was kind of jealous of their relationship and he felt like a third wheel, but he's the one that introduced him. He should have got with her, I think, if he wanted her that bad. So, yeah, so after that, like I said, guys, that's when, I'm not going to say anything else because that's when the movie really, really happens. I will say this, though. My man, top T.O.P., yes, from the group Big Bang, is in this film. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Now, he's not in every scene because he's not the main character, but he does play a bad guy in this film. And it's really cool. He does some really cool stuff, and y'all know my man is a good shot. So, yeah, it's his part is really, really good. It's 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 not a big part, like I said, but it, it was good enough for me. But in a whole, this movie is really, really good. You guys know I like action films, and this movie has it. It has like, you know, your gunfights, your explosions, things that go boom. It has car chases and kidnappings and chokings and, and you know, nuclear bombs and everything like that. So it's, it's action packed and it's interesting to see, um, you know, the film and how the main character became, was once a part of ISIS, but then ISIS betrayed him, and then, of course, he had to go rogue. So that was really interesting watching that as well. And like I said, this film makes me want to watch the drama, because if the drama is anything like the film, I think it's going to be a good one for me to enjoy and to review on my channel. And while I'm watching this film also, you know, because, like I said, there's a nuclear bomb in this movie as well. And, you know, we need to stop this from happening because we need, we need to stop ISIS, this terrorist. And we need to stop the terrorists from blowing up Seoul, Korea. So, that, while I'm watching this... This reminds me of another one of my all-time favorite TV shows ever. And that show is 24. And if you're familiar with the show 24, you know Kiefer Sutherland plays Jack Bauer. And this movie is just like that. And I think the drama is going to be just like, you know, 24 as well. Because in, the, in uh, 24, Jack Bauer is trying to stop, you know, a bomb from going off. And in this movie, and I believe in the drama too... They're trying to stop like terrorist attacks. So it, it reminds me of 24 a lot. And I, I like that type of stuff. So I, I think it's going to be really, really good. And let me see. Is there anything else I want to say about this film? I don't think so. This guy, the main character, he's like the Korean Jack Bauer. Really is. He's like, he is. He's like the Korean Jack Bauer. Because there's torture in this movie also. There's a little bit of torture, you know. So it's, it's jam-packed with everything, and I think you will enjoy it. So, that's all I'm going to say about this film for now. Let me know what you think after you watch this film or if you've seen this film. I will leave all the information down below, a synopsis, and if I try to find a trailer, I will link that trailer down below as well. All right, let me know what you think. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Do all three. They're free for crying out loud. And I want to thank you to my new and my old subscribers. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it because I know there's tons of videos like this, but yet you stopped to watch mine. And for that, I'm thankful. So thank you very, very much. All right. I will talk to you guys next time and have a fantastic day. Come tell me that. 
thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please click the link to watch my latest video.